Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Juan Pablo Montoya's Sonoma Win from 2007. This is the Elite version of it, so here's your typical generic Elite box. It used to have a sleeve with some actual information, like see 42 Juan Pablo Montoya's signature, heavily in racing, raised version. Winner, Sonoma, California, June 24th, 2007, COT. I like to just put a little more information on these boxes, but I mean the box underneath is still just a generic box. What you would expect by now, but... They made 504 of these. Let's get down to the card itself. This is before the age of race winner card, so nothing to look at there. And if you're probably guessing by now, this is his first win. And that is why I have it. There's really one of two wins that he got in NASCAR, and both did get produced. He had this in 2007, and then again in 2010 at Watkins Glen. I do want to get that Watkins Glen win at some point, but it's gotten rare. But let's do a quick 360 of the car, as usual. This is a Dodge, for any of you Dodge fans out there. And as you can see, he was a rookie when he got this win. So that was kind of impressive. Though he really just never made it in NASCAR. He also got his first Bush Series or Xfinity or Nationwide, whatever you want to call it, win that year. I don't have that die cast, but I'll have to get that one too because it is a first win. Well, let's get down to sponsors. You got Texaco Havilene. You got number 42, Dodge Avenger. Nothing really else on the front there. Down the side, you have Texaco Havilene, Ringley's Big Red. You got Tecron, Dell Dodge. You got that K logo, Freightliner, Lincoln Welder, Sherman Williams, ATS. On the B post, you have Coors Light, Target, Big Red, Bosch, and Dodge. Pablo Montoya's with the Colombian flag next to his name. On the back, you have www.42daysofracing.com. Got Texaco Havilene Racing with Chip Ganassi on the one tail light and 42 on the other. Got Avenger with the two rookie stripes. Express Lube on the deck lid. This is number 314. There's actually a little NASCAR logo on the back wing right there. That's a nice touch. It just says Texaco Havilene on the wing plate. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Also has the Texaco... 20th anniversary of 20 years or whatever logo right there. Don't think I pointed that out on the other side. Let's take a look under the hood. See that it just says Texaco Havilene. There's your 2007 COT engine detail for the Elites. Under the deck lid, you get your typical fuel cell and such back there. And the roof flaps do in fact open. They feel like it. There's the underside of the car if you would like to see it. There you got that bumper bar. But not much else to see down there. So let's get down to the damage and such. You see, on the right front, if I can get some more light in there, there's a little bit of some marking right there where it looks like he ran into somebody. And just overall, just a lot of dirt and dust and debris all over the grill. If the light catches it right, you can really see it. Down the right side, you see the right front tire's got the lettering kind of rubbed off of it. Looks like he did get into somebody again. Rear wheel's just dirty, not much else. There's a little bit of some damage on the right at the bottom of the rear bumper right there. See, you did get hit in the left rear right there. You see you got some little bit of a mark around there. See, the left front tire is also pretty marked up. And got a little bit of some damage on the left front. Not too damaged, but it's pretty good. Got some dirt in the roof too, but you know. It doesn't have a confetti or anything, so it just kind of has those little details to go for it. But If you want this car, it's a little bit hard to get now. Basically all Montoya's wins are, but I'd say it's definitely worth your time. It's kind of a unique race win, you know. An IndyCar driver coming into NASCAR, getting a win in his rookie season. Just kind of an upset win, but just kind of a good win. But I think that's pretty much to say. This has been a review of one Pablo Montoya's Texaco Havilene Sonoma win from 2007. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.